Hey there, Yogi. How are you? My name is Crystal Gray, and today's short but effective flow, I'll be guiding you through some of my favorite poses to help you develop sleek, toned, defined shoulders and arms. This is a problem area for a lot of people, especially women, and I never had any definition or tone in my arms until I started doing yoga, and I did a lot of different things. I lifted weights, I played tennis, I did gymnastics when I was younger, and I never had any definition in my arms. It was very, very frustrating. And so some of these poses are my favorite go-tos and I really think that you'll enjoy them. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this practice and what your favorite part of the practice was. And don't forget to subscribe because each week I put out a new video. Enjoy your practice and have a lovely day. Namaste. For today's practice, we'll begin in modified child's pose. Bring your knees as wide as your mat and come down onto the forearms and then let the forehead come down to the mat as well, bringing your hips back towards your heels as far as they go comfortably. Relax the upper body, relax the face. Soften here as you breathe. Taking deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Letting go of anything that's been on your mind today. Coming into the present moment by focusing on the breath. And then slowly come up to the hands and knees. Bring your knees back to center and lower all the way onto the belly. Come onto the forearms and uncurl the toes, pushing the tops of the toenails into the mat. Have your elbows directly under the shoulders and the forearms parallel to the long side of the mat. Draw the chest forward and up, tuck the chin slightly to lengthen the neck. Breathe here in Sphinx. And then interlace your fingers, curl the toes under, inhale, and then exhale, lift the belly so you can come onto the knees here. Again, tuck the chin slightly to lengthen the neck. Make sure you're in a straight line from the tailbone all the way up to the crown of the head. If you want more, lift the knees off the mat as well. Now you're in a straight line from the heels to the crown of the head. If you want a little bit more, you can push forward and back. Let's do five, four, three, two, one, and release. <laughs> Come back to your Sphinx pose. Hold here, already building some heat. Nice deep breaths. Let's do that one more time. Interlace your fingers your non-dominant way. Curl the toes under, inhale, and exhale, lift. So you can stay on the knees and then you'll just stay there. You won't move forward and back or lift the knees. Stay there or push forward and back. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Release. Now bring your arms by your sides and rest on one cheek. Soften here. Catch your breath. You can always take some cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> okay, so now come on to your forearm. So let's do the left side first. So have your left forearm parallel now to the short side of the mat. Your elbows directly under the shoulder. Use the right hand to push you up. Bend your knees, inhale, exhale. See if you can lift coming onto the knife edge or the side of the foot. Hold here and breathe. Lift up, up, up. You can always keep the right hand down, pushing up for support. Now this is really hard. If you can't do this, don't worry about it. Slowly release and switch sides. Right forearm down. Bend your knees, inhale. Exhale, lift, straighten the legs. Left hand can stay down or can come to the side. Five, four, keep breathing, three, Two, one. 
and release. All right, come down to the belly, bring your hands beside your chest, draw the shoulders away from the mat, curl the toes under. Inhale, push up to the knees or straight up to plank. Exhale, hips up and back into our first downward facing dog. So bend the knees so that you can really push into the knuckles and send the hips up and back. Roll the shoulders away from each other and the forearms in. Breathe here. You can pedal out the feet, called walking the dog, nice and slow, just waking up the hamstrings. Full stretch. And then walk your feet up towards your hands, bringing your big toes together to touch or keeping the feet about fist width, whatever feels better for you. Hands can come to the shins. Inhale, lengthen the spine. So here you just want a nice straight back. You can do it with your hands on the ground if your hamstrings are flexible enough to keep a straight spine, but don't stress about that. On your next exhale, fold. Ground down into the feet. Look out in front of you. Inhale, come up with a flat back. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Breathe here. Take some cleansing breaths. Inhale, reach your arms up, palms touch. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to to tip the pelvis forward. Inhale, come to your flat back. Bend the knees, exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Now hold here. If you want to add, push forward and back. Now this can be a little bit intense on the wrist, so if it's hurting the wrist, just skip the push forward and back. <sighs> okay, push forward, knees can come down, lower down, elbows in, uncurl the toes. Inhale, chest forward and up, Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, come down, curl the toes under. Now push up in a straight line here, so try not to roll up. So push up in a straight line. That's why usually we just go to the knees and then exhale, hips up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Keep the arms engaged, roll the shoulders away from each other, forearms in. And step the feet forward. Inhale, monkey pose, flat back, exhale, fold. Push down into the feet, look out. Inhale, rise up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart, breathe here. On your exhale, ground. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold, we're gonna do that again. Inhale, halfway up. Bend your knees, plant your hands, exhale, step back to plank. Now hold here or push forward and back. So make sure that you stay in a straight line from the heels to the crown of the head. Now push forward, knees down, lower down, chest lands before the belly. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, chest forward and up, cobra. Exhale, come down. Now let's stretch the shoulders, interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, lift. Lift the arms off the back. Exhale, come down. Hands beside the chest, curl the toes. Inhale, push up to modified plank or regular plank, if you can do it in a straight line. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Full stretch, keep the arms engaged. And walk the feet forward. Big toes touch or feet fist width. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Push down into the feet, look out. Inhale, come up with a flat back. Exhale, draw the energy down and into the heart. <sighs> Breathe here. Okay, so now we're gonna add on. Exhale, ground down. Inhale, reach the arms up and bring the hips back into chair. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. <sighs> Inhale, come to your monkey pose, wherever you need to go to get a flat back. Exhale, step back to plank. <sighs> Inhale, push forward, knees down or stay lifted. Exhale, lower down, chest lands first. Whatever variation you choose, keep good form. Inhale, chest forward and up, cobra. Exhale, down, curl the toes under. Inhale, push up in a straight line. Exhale, hips up and back. Now, big toes touch. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bring it through, low lunge. So your foot might not make it all the way through, then you can grab it and place it through. Inhale, come up to 
Crescent Warrior. So I like to keep both knees bent in this pose so that I can keep my low back long. So that's what I recommend that you do. Right knees directly on top of the ankle. Now flatten the back foot so that it's almost parallel to the back of the mat. Toes turned in a little bit. Virabhadrasana 2. Right heels in line with the arch of the back foot. Okay, now bring both hands down on either side of the right foot. Lift your back heel up so the toes are just on the ground and the ball of the foot. Plant your left hand and start to walk your right foot to the right. Okay, lift your hips up. So it's a, it's a variation of a side plank, but we're keeping the foot down to make it just a tiny bit easier, but I know it's still really hard. And then downward facing dog. We're gonna skip the vinyasa so that we have the strength in the shoulders, or more likely have the strength in the shoulders for that side plank. Big toes touch, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bring it through, however you can get it there. Low lunge. And then bring the arms up overhead, crescent warrior. And bring the palms to touch if that feels okay. Breathe. Okay, now open the hips to the right. Flatten the back foot, gaze out through the left middle finger. Have your left heel in line with the arch of the back foot, Virabhadrasana 2. Make sure the left knee's not going past the ankle. Deep yogic breaths. And then right hand down, both hands down actually on either side of the left foot. But then we'll plant the right hand and come onto the knife edge of the right foot. Walk your left foot over to the left and lift the hips up. Breathe. Make sure not to bend the bottom elbow because you'll probably fall. And downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank, knees down, especially if you're getting tired, keep good form. Exhale lower, uncurl the toes. Inhale chest forward and up, cobra. Exhale down, interlace your hands behind your back in your non-dominant way. Inhale lift. Lift the shoulders off the back, exhale, come down. Or the hands off the back, shoulders off the back would be tricky. Curl the toes under, inhale, push up to your plank, exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog, hold here and breathe. If your shoulders need a break, please feel free to take a child's pose like we did in the beginning, or just sit down onto the knees and back onto the heels. Now walk the feet in a couple inches, bend the knees, Inhale, look forward. At the end of the exhale, walk or lightly float to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms overhead, but bring the hips back into chair. Utkatasana, make sure you can see your toes and your ankles. Exhale, rise, and bring the arms down by the sides. Breathe here. At any time, if you need a drink, just go ahead and pause and grab a drink. Okay, so we'll do one more round and add on a little bit to that. Inhale, arms up, bring the hips back, chair. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up to a flat back, monkey. Exhale, plank. Inhale, push forward, knees can come down. Exhale, lower, arms rub on the sides on the way down. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, chest forward and up. Exhale, down. Curl the toes under, push up in a straight line, inhale. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Keep the knuckles rooting into the mat. Don't let them pop up. Big toes touch. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bring it through however you can. Low lunge, flatten the back foot. Inhale, windmill the arms open to warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, reach the right hand out and bring the right hand to the right shin. Left arm up. Now, right hand can go down to the ground, but only if you can keep both shoulders directly over the bottom leg. If you start to come down or close off the chest, then you've gone too far. Have a gentle squeeze in the quads so you're not hyperextending the right knee. Triangle, trikonasana. Inhale, rise up. Bend the right knee, exhale, windmill both hands down again on either side of the right foot. 
plant the left hand, walk the right foot out in front here, lift up, up, up. So your left hand and your left foot are in line. Stay here or stack the feet. Vashistasana. Hold and breathe, don't bend the elbow. I know it's challenging. I've been doing this pose for a long time. It's still pretty hard. Downward facing dog. Full stretch, big toes touch. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bring it through, flatten the back foot. Inhale, windmill the arms up. Exhale, bend into the left knee, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the left leg, but don't lock it. Exhale, reach out over the left leg, left hand down, right arm up. And breathe here, shoulders away from the ears. Twist the belly button open, both shoulders stacked over the bottom leg. Neck in line with the spine, Trikonasana. Inhale, rise up, bend the left knee, exhale, pivot, have both hands on either side of the left foot, right heel's now lifted. Plant the right hand, come onto the knife edge of the back foot, walk the left foot over, lift up, 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 stay here, or stack the feet. Breathe, find the gazing point. Downward facing dog. Hope you guys are working up as much of a sweat as me. <laughs> Breathe. So you don't need tons of time in order to get in a good yoga session. Inhale, come forward to plank, shoulders past the wrist, knees can come down. Exhale, lower, uncurl the toes. Inhale, chest forward and up, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Exhale, lift. Hold here and breathe. Focusing on lifting the hands up off the back. And then bring the hands beside the chest. Push up two, your hands and knees. Sit back onto the heels if this feels okay. Close your eyes and breathe. <sighs> Might feel good to take some cleansing breaths or cleansing sighs in through the nose, <sighs> out through the mouth. Slow it down, slow down your breath, slow down your heart rate. And release your hands behind your back again. You can open your eyes. And then just pull the arms away from the back. Try not to dump forward. Keep your chest lifted, chin pulled back in space slightly. And bring the breath up into the chest. Feel the stretch in the shoulders. And then release, do some shoulder circles, do some head rolls if that feels good. And then swing the feet around and out in front, keep both legs together, pull the flesh away from the sitting bones. You can bend your knees so that we can tip the pelvis forward. You don't wanna go into forward folds with the pelvis tilted back, that rounds the spine. So feel free to bend the knees, tilt the pelvis forward, feet are active. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, tilt. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tilt the pelvis so the tailbone is lifting. It'll feel kind of like you're sticking your booty out a little bit. Keep drawing your chest towards your big toes. Now, if you can keep the spine straight or neutral and straighten the legs, that's fine. But if it makes your back round, then just keep the knees bent. This is Paschimottanasana. Tuck the chin slightly, neck long, breathe. Just relax here. Shouldn't be going to where it hurts, so if it hurts, just back out of it a little bit. Forward folds are great to do at the end of practice. They can be really calming for the mind and for the body, for the nervous system, as long as you're comfortable. It's not about going as far as you can into the pose. It's definitely not about rounding and trying to bring the head down. Keep drawing the chest forward. And then come up, cross the legs. Coming into an easy seated pose, Sukhasana. Pull the flesh away from the sitting bones. Just have your palms turned down onto the knees for a little bit of grounding after that practice. It was pretty uplifting. So close your eyes, reach the back of the crown of the head up towards the sky and breathe. 
Nice deep belly breaths here. So don't be afraid of your belly expanding. Let your face relax, your forehead, your eyes, and your jaw. See how many counts your inhale takes. Maybe it's three, four, or five, or even six. And let your exhale be one, two, or three counts longer than the inhale. Eyes gently closed. Doing a few more rounds of this V Samavriti breath, unequal breathing. Very calming and grounding breath. Circle your hands together in front of your heart into prayer. Just take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then bow your head. Go down as far as it feels good for you. Bring your thumbs up to your third eye. Acknowledging the energy that's within you, around you, connects us all together and never goes away. That energy within me acknowledges the energy within you. And I thank you so very much for letting me guide you through your practice today. Make sure you show yourself some gratitude for hitting your mat. The energy within me acknowledges the energy within you. Namaste. Namaste.